Candace, you are now rocking with the best you pick live. I'm Brent, and this is my trusty sidekick, Candace. Uh, I think you mixed it up a little bit there, Brent. I'm not the trusty sidekick you are. <laughs> no, 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 Candace, I beg to differ. I had it right the first time, actually. Okay, well, then how about we compromise? I'm trusty, you're the sidekick, okay? Okay, that's okay, great. Good. Now that that's all the started way. out, the <laughs> we've got a great afternoon. Christy oh, Smith, is the latest Survivor castaway, is going to be joining us. Plus, we have all of your picks at Nick.com. Yes, yeah, speaking of which, let's get to the first pick of the day. You guys have been voting at Nick.com all day between Jimmy Neutron, Rugrats, and Rocket Power. Yes. Let's get the results on Uncle Plex. Oh, thank you very much, Candace. I appreciate that. Ooh, and it looks like the winner is Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron. Neutron. Antonio, as always, is standing by with the winning tape. Hey, uh, what's going on? Let's see. Let's check this out. Dear Brent and Candace, gone fishing? Mm. Antonio. Fishing? Uh, why would he go fishing? I don't know. That's ridiculous. Oh. That's a nice catch. That's a nice catch. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I was gonna say, say that Candace. too. Wow. All right, well, then that means there's only one solution. You don't mean. Yes, I do. Oh no. Boo! 22! Hut! Hut! Hey! Go, Jordan! Go, Jordan! He's crazy! Look at oh, him! Oh! Look at the cow! Oh, Ooh. way to head up, big boy! Nice and work! He... Jordan is incredible! He's amazing! Absolutely fantastic. He's giving high fives all over the place like he's a football superstar. Way to superstar. go, Jordan. Oh, and nice well, look at those big thumbs. <laughs> nice all work, right. Jordan. Here's your first pick of the day, Jimmy Neutron. Nice work. Oh, We're going nice. to get him a helmet that fits. <laughs> And Christy and I are very nervous. I'm sitting here with Christy Smith, the latest Survivor castaway. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Christy. Ben. You were so close to the million dollars. So close. Ah! What would you have done with it? I would have bought a rocket ship. A rocket ship? A rocket, 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 whatever. <laughs> and, and gone where? And to the moon. To the moon? Yeah. That's what you would have done with a million dollars? Would, would you have taken me with you? No. Thanks. No, I appreciate it. Thanks no. a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're All right. So it's no secret for the fans of Survivor that you were the first deaf contestant, right? So, uh, to compete on the show. So was that an extra challenge to you to, to work with everybody? It was an extra everybody? challenge to communicate with these people and not signing them without them understanding what right. I had to say. So I was like, yeah. So I had to speak, and then they think I could understand fully, and I didn't. It was right, that. Right, right, right. It was hard. So, is it, uh, um, so do, do you find it difficult? Um, what was the most difficult part about com communicating with the fellow tribe members? Wait, like, when was it most difficult? It was most difficult at nighttime. At nighttime? Or when you had the lantern, and it was, like, right, limited right, right. light right. and that kind of stuff. How about, like, when, you're do when you were doing, like, the challenges? And, and it's just like fine. furious. It was right? always action. No one was really talking, so oh, it was right, like right, fine. Right. So you kind of keep your eye open and you just go, 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 go. Right, right. You know what you're gonna do. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, so you seem to seek out adventure by taking kids out into the wilderness and, and working with them and stuff. So, um, what's that like for you? I love it. Yeah. Kids are our future. They're gonna hey, be our man, yeah. I love that. So, I, I enjoy them. They That's make cool. me smile. I learn more from them than I do from adults my age. Yeah, because I couldn't teach you anything. <laughs> That's for sure. No. Hey, I got some Nick.com questions right here oh, for really? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, don't peek. Oh, sorry. That's sorry. okay. All right, this one's from MMCPJPH. <laughs> they want to know, uh, how did you pre prepare yourself to be on Survivor? I drank a lot of milkshakes. A lot of milkshakes? Got you hear that? A lot of meat on me so I can lose it and still be healthy. Nice. That's yeah. sweet. Ice cream is the key. Pin lover, this one's from. What was the hardest thing to live without? My toothbrush. Your toothbrush? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Because oh. I have bad breath and people were like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. That's yeah. terrible. All right. Well, you're going to come back and play this or that with us? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Will you sign out? You pick live with me? Sure. All right. Slowly, though. Okay. Okay. You, you pick. Live. Live! We're coming back with this or that and Chrissy Smith for Survivor! <laughs> this week on Friday Night Nicktoons. Nickelodeon Super! Hey, welcome back to Nickelodeon Super Pick Live. I am standing next to one of the coolest people on the planet and one of the last people Thank to you. be voted on for Survivor <laughs> Amazon. Christy Smith, everybody! <laughs> Christy, 
Yeah. Don't touch your foot again. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna play a game called this or that. This, this or, that. or that. Yeah. Okay. Here's how it works. I'm gonna give you two choices. Don't think, just pick. Okay. All right. All right. Start the music. Ready? Touch a tarantula or pet a piranha. Uh, a tra a tarantula. 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 Okay. Win a million bucks or travel around the world. Travel around the world. Travel to the moon, she said. Be on Survivor or just watch it from the couch? Be on Survivor! Be on Survivor! Come on, people! That's an easy one. Skateboard or snowboard? Snowboard. Snowboard, of course. <laughs> watch out, Scotty. I'm gonna get you. And finally, uh, Candace, can you come out here, please? Finally, eat a warm waffle or a bug brownie? I, I can't decide. Okay. So can I ask you guys over yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, what do you guys think? The what? The they want the worms. They want the worms. You got all of them right. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Christy Smith from the Survivor. Thank you so much, Christy. Yeah, I want a bite. Let me have some. You can eat as much as you want. You want a brownie? I'll be outdoors. Yes, okay. yes, excellent. Now we've got lots of more picks coming your way uh, all afternoon. Now it's time for the... Fun Shout Out! Absolutely amazing. Candace, pick a postcard, please. This one goes to Marissa from Illinois. Oh, sweet. All right, Candace is doing some... What are you doing, Candace? Yes, see. All right, Candace is making some origami over here, I think, or something of the <laughs> sort. Not too much. Right, this is a new way for us to get the uh, the postcard to the audio room and get it to Wendy. So, Marissa from Illinois, get by your phone, because we are calling you as soon as Candace finishes this insane little contraption she's got Hey, you ready? Nice. Go for it. Go! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's, it's coming like it's, around. Here it comes. Right 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 I had to get down under the pillow. Oh, oh, oh JJ. JJ. Nice move, JJ. Look out, Todd, Wendy, Karen. Wendy, catch it. Wendy. Oh, right. Catch Wendy. All right, Marissa, get by your phone because we are calling you for the SpongeBob shout-out. There right we go. Nice work. Oh, Wendy PG. show on Nickelodeon that lets you pick what you want to see. And right now, I think they want to see the Spongebob shout-out. Spongebob shout-out! Hey, that's me! Indeed, bye, 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 bye. indeed it is Spongebob. All right, right now we have Great Marissa deduction. from Illinois on the phone. You there? Hi. Hi, Hi. Marissa. Hey, Marissa, do you like the episode where Spongebob is forced to work at the chum bucket? Yeah. Sweet. Well, that's the one we're showing today. How about that? Yeah. Nice. Cool. All right, speaking of that, yes. who do you want to spend <laughs> Who do you want to send your SpongeBob shout out to? I want to send it to my family, um to my friends Lindsay, Lainey, Amanda, Jenny and Eric. Awesome. Right. Well, here comes your SpongeBob shout out to your family and all those friends you just mentioned. Hey, thanks, thanks for Marissa. Oh, Are you ready, kids? I That's what I thought you said. Hi, and welcome to the Prize Wall Roadshow. I'm here analyzing and appraising some of the wonderful prizes behind these 14 and 5A stores. Young lady, you can step up, please. Thank you. Oh, hi. Yeah, just put that right down there. Okay, this is what they call a paper clip bracelet. Now, uh, this is, let me see, I'll flip this over. You see right there, circa 1987 mm -hmm. right there. This bracelet was probably worn at a Def Leppard concert. Oh. Thank you. Hold on to that. Fabulous. Thank, Thank you for bringing you. that in. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Hi, young man. How are you? Good. Great. Now, this is what's known as a magical light bulb. Uh, where'd you find this? Uh, Danny, the prop guy, gave it to me like two minutes ago. Wow, I can't believe you yeah. let this treasure go. That's amazing. See, the magic about this thing is that it can turn on like so. See, as we get it on there. Yeah, yeah. See, it's on. I saw it, and yeah. then off. Wow, that's really magical. This thing is amazing. It also has the ability to illuminate. You know what that means? No. That's Swedish for lights up. Yeah, I knew that. Great, thanks. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Hi, how are you? What, uh, what do you got for me today? Okay, that's absolutely disgusting. Can you get that off the table, please? Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Okay, thanks. Yeah. 
Hi, young lady. Hi. Wow. Wow, the bucket of bucks. This is absolutely priceless. Yes, and it's currently filled with $147.49. So how much do you think that's worth? About $147.49. Mm. And this is going right back into the prize wall coming up next. I don't get to keep it? No, no, you can't keep this young lady. No, no, no. Security! 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 On an all-new team mix spins the bottle. They're in school. Call Huntington today. I'll get the cow. Hey, let's get to the prize wall here. 14 5 8 stores, 15 prizes just waiting to be picked. Yeah, one of these prizes is the bucket of bucks. Currently filled with $147.49. But we can't pick a prize. We need a lounger to do that. Yeah. So, pick for it. Pick for it! Oh, 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 Hi, what's cannabis. your name? Nicole. Nicole, oh. which door do you want? Seven. seven. She wants door number seven. What could be behind door number seven? I'm so nervous. I don't know what I can do, Nicole. What's it going to be? Ooh. You ready for this? <laughs> You've won a peg leg. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Shout out for Marissa to her friends and family. Thanks for sending a postcard, Marissa. Next is today's tete a tete. That's French for head to head. Head to head. Thanks for clarifying that, Brent. Uh, cool problem. <laughs> All right, today's battle matches up between Wednesday's champion, Fairly Odd Pants, and Cat Dog. Coming up next is the head to head, Wee Wee. Wee Wee. I don't, yeah, Wee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the, like the French Wee Wee, not oh, the English oh, Wee Wee. Oh, okay. okay. Here's one of your one. Hey, we're at the Nickelodeon Super Live right now. It's time for the head to head. Yeah! I got playoff fever. Let's play some hockey with Pig Boy. <laughs> All right. Hold it. Okay, go. I want to protect my handsome face here. All right. Wow, you look much better like that. Yeah, good. Okay, Let's go. Here we go. Well, your head to head pick is between Wednesday's champion, Fairly Odd Pants, and on the plasma screen. That didn't go in. That didn't, I, I didn't, and I didn't the winner it. is Fairly Odd Pants. Okay, Brent. Whoa. Brent, I think, it's time right, for, it's woo, I think it's time for line change. Line change? Yeah. All right, there we go. Nice. Work it, big boy. Work her up. Go get it. Oh, oh. Kenneth, here we go. Here comes Fairly Odd Parents. You're head to head. Oh, 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 oh. That was indeed the head to head winner, Fairly Odd Parents. Coming up next is a daily challenge. Candace and I are hitting the streets of New York and giving away free stuff. Wait, free? Like what? Pencils? Autographs? Pig boy? Oh. Ooh, good thinking, but no. We're giving away free massages, manicures, and walking tours. Ooh, New even York. better. Yeah, uh, let's get going. Okay. Daily challenge is coming up next, I'm like telling you. <laughs> see you guys. Okay, let's see this. Go right, go right, go right. Here we go. Run, 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 run. Spacekids.com. You must be 18 or older to call or log on. Hello, citizens of Nickelodeon. Brent and Candace have quit the show, and I've just been informed that I am the new host of Pick Boy Live. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Just to clarify, Brent and did not quit the show, and I've been assured beyond any doubt that I am not and will never be the host of You Pick Live. With that out of the way, let's get to the daily challenge. You guys have been voting on Nick.com all day to see what Brent and Candace will do out on the streets. Will it be give free makeovers or give free walking tours? Let's get the results on the plasma screen. All right, it looks like you guys voted for free makeovers with 56%. Take it away, Brent and Candace. Um, you guys want to see our makeover techniques? It is amazing. Here Let's we go. Here we, we got go. Hannah and Caitlin. We designed the lips, see, on the cheek, how we work like that. See, she's like giving her a second pair of lips. We like to uh, apply way above the actual Oh, lips I see, I see. To oh, make them look gorgeous. much bigger. Look at that. This is Antarctic purple. It's going right on your lips. Give me a pucker. 
Oh! <laughs> crazy, Caitlin. Smooth that smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. We got some um, glow in the dark gel. This is gonna be great. This is so we, pretty. See, we like to do this outside too because you get that windblown effect. Howdy beauty. So Hollywood, look at us, Candace. I know, I know. Wow, wow, I feel it. You know, you know who else is seriously connected up in Hollywood? The cow. <gasps> totally. You know, the cow knows everyone there in Tinseltown. In fact, the cow got to sit down and chat with Eddie Murphy, Steve Zahn, and Jeff Garland from the movie Daddy Daycare. It's time for a segment we call The Cow Goes Hollywood. No doubt. The Cow Goes Hollywood. Why aren't there any cows in the movie? Oh, uh, that's where, where, that's Dr. Doolittle where we're gonna have cows. We're gonna have cows in this movie because the kids are around and stuff. You know, I just got an idea. I'm yeah. just noticing something. You're a beefy hunk. I'm a hunk of beef. Buddy movie? Yay. What do you think? Yeah, but what will we call it? I don't know, but do I have to play the cow? You have to play the cow. I'm getting I'm, typecast all I'm over. Not, I'm not playing any cow. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Uh, I have to say Swiss. Thank you, I'm proud of that one. That's one of mine. <laughs> Do you have a favorite cheese? Soy cheese. I like soy cheese. Uh, oh, that's I not know. one of mine. Curd. Mm, not Curd very proud cheese? of it. Yeah, well, it's what I do. I mm. love that stuff. Yeah, it's hey. good. But you don't, why can't you get it in New York? I'm in production. I'm not in distribution. <laughs> so. We we'll talk to you people. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. Honestly, my favorite thing about cows is yeah. the, how they taste. Hmm, okay. They're good. Dude. Yeah, but you're a dairy a cow. You don't have that. You're dairy. Okay, good, so I'm safe. Right? You're yeah. not like a black Angus or a... True, true. ...or a belted Galloway sitting in front of you me. You know your cows. That's my cousin. I actually. live on a farm. I have a farm. I want to get a bull. Oh, keep them away from me. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Those bulls could be trouble. <laughs> a little something. Brilliant. Genius. The cow is now. Ciao. I can't believe this, Candace. I asked for a double half calf latte with double cream. I can't believe this. I'm out of here. <laughs> Call my agent. <laughs> What's better than Nicktoons and cereal? Brand new Nick. Hey, you're watching You Pick Live. Here comes more rocket power. Rocket power. <laughs> <laughs> you guys what an eventful afternoon you can say that again what an event okay Brent, it's a figure of speech <laughs> figure of speech right, right, right guys don't forget that later tonight tune into an all-new episode of fairly odd parents at 9 8 central it's called most want to wish and we wish that you tune in Ooh, clever Brent thanks I've been working on that for a couple days now right and this Sunday at 6 5 central tune in to T Nick spins the bottle oh yeah <laughs> T. Nick has taken over the Hard Rock Cafe in Hollywood. Celebrity host Nick Cannon will spin the T. Nick bottle and do whatever it instructs him to do. Uh-oh, danger, danger. Answer Woo. questions, he'll perform a dare, even go on a 60-second date with a member of the, of the audience. Wow. That'd be cool. Uh-huh, I'd right. like to be there. Oh, I bet you would. <laughs> All right, that's T. Nick spins the bottle this Sunday at 6, 5 Central. Yeah, it's best of you pick live all next week, but you can still pick the shows that you want to see. Don't forget, you still have that power. Just go to Nick.com and vote. Yes. And guess what's coming up next, Brent? Uh, hey, Arnold. Oh, yeah. Hey, Arnold's coming up next, Bob.